Hey everybody, it's me Azalea. You're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. And I have finally, finally started to see some just amazing progress on my journey from hoarding to minimalism. Or as I used to call it not hoarding, but maximalism. But today I have a little something. I'm not decluttering or going through a closet or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I have found in the basement of my parents' house a box from about six years ago, seven, seven, seven years ago that I left by accident in their basement during like a move when I was storing some stuff. Somehow it just got left behind. I think it's the only one. And so it's like, what? It's like total miscellaneous box. Obviously, I didn't miss it for seven years. So in theory, I could just throw this whole thing out. But I thought it'd be interesting to see how truly deeply just my relationship with material possessions has changed. Uh, I very much used to curate my space in a very maximalist, artistic way. But ultimately, I think it's contributed to anxiety and just not being able to let go of a lot and just be peaceful and present in the moment with people. So, people including myself, be present with yourself. Uh, so, journeying from hoarding and maximalism all the way, I think, I think I'm gonna make it. I think I am actually at some point going to get to actual minimalism. Uh, so I'm on that journey. Let's see what I used to keep. Okay, I'll tell you right now, I don't want this blue plastic tote. I loved these curtains. I've missed these curtains. I am going to keep the curtains for now, although I have now like come to the real conclusion that just because you love something doesn't mean you need to keep it in your house. So if it's not fitting the vibe of wherever my next dwelling is, it's not coming. Picture I painted of a unicorn, a plug thingy, a crocheted slipper, a random cord, a veil to wear on my hair. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff that I don't need. Oh, I painted this unicorn in 2002. Whew, I'm old. So let's keep that unicorn and the curtains, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna keep it forever. Everything else, bye. A pioneer bonnet, bye. Um, this is a, this box is so heavy and I didn't go through it beforehand. I want to keep it fresh. Here's an example of where I, you know, guised as an artist, I'm hoarding. This dog has no face, but I kept him probably because something about it sang to me. Maybe I feel like my own self is a dog without a face. Ribbons. Oh my gosh ice cream mix, like for making ice cream. I kept this because there is something, there's something that's a little bit of art about it, but I don't need the weight of the art, the physical manifestation of the art to travel with me everywhere in such a bulky form. Troll hair bow I've been carrying around since 1992. Little garter straps and fabric Wraps, Ziploc bags from my delusions that I was going to organize. Too much stuff. It's impossible to organize too much stuff. That's something. Some tiny birds tangled on some other stuff. It's beautiful. Like that is beautiful, but it's not a part of my life anymore. And all of this is in a giant jar that I thought was cool, so I kept it. I don't really need any of that stuff. This feels dried up, dried up paint. The ugliest color of paint ever. More curtains, might need those, those could fit. Oh, a little dress, I remember wearing 
wearing this dress, although at this point it looks more like a shirt. And it's fuzzy and it's going. Pants leg from making cut off shorts. This is the kind of stuff I, I felt that I should keep this green pants leg and travel it across the state of Virginia and store it in someone else's house. This is why hoarding is like a, you need help? Open the door, baby. That's my baby girl, Cece. Open, come out. Open. Yeah, come out. So I, hoarding, even low level hoarding, you probably don't think you're a hoarder, but you really might be. I stored a pants leg in someone else's basement for seven years. That's a sickness. I'm glad I'm gonna be cured. Slot for stuff. So, out of all of that, I'm really just keeping some stationery that I found that we can use in homeschool, just as some extra paper um, for my babies. And uh, I needed a box to keep pencils in, and so I'm keeping this chocolate box. I found an autographed copy of one of my college professor's books with a little message to me. Oh my gosh, like I haven't seen this since seven years or something. That's what happens when you finally cut through the boxes and boxes and boxes and loads and loads and loads of stuff is you find things that mean a little bit more to you. Um, I'm temporarily maybe keeping the curtains, you know, because I might need them. I'm still struggling with my hoarding. But uh, I found like Delius and Alloy magazine from like early like 2002 or something and I'm gonna give a look through these um, before I send them on the way so you guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel right now right now I'm in between permanent homes baby's trying to smudge uh, I'm in between permanent homes so one day I can't wait to show you my new cleaned out life in my new home and maybe I'll be somewhere close to minimalism. Love you guys. Subscribe. See you next time.